Hi guys, welcome to Cafe IO. This is going to be a really short video and I'm going to be talking about my new gadget which I purchased, iPhone 15. Let's get started. So it's not an unboxing video, it's mostly... I've used it for a couple of days, what are my initial feelings? Here's the box that you get. A uh, very nice and sleek looking box. It's You can probably see just two fingers thick. I really like the box. Not a lot of stuff inside, just the cable which is a braided cable, USB-C cable. Not a high speed cable, that's something you have to purchase externally. The cable is short, overall better than previous lightning cables, the white ones which used to get, you know, broken at the end. This is the phone, give it top notch compared to my iPhone 11 on the weight and size. The dimensions are a little smaller. I had an iPhone 11 before, but this is 15. It's smaller, lighter, very easier to feel in hand. I am getting 5S vibes, not sure why, but really good the back is completely glass and non-repairable so that's probably one of the most expensive bits in fact if you break a screen under apple care they'll probably charge you 2500 but if you break the back glass it's like 8000 plus so that's uh, a little bit about the screen as you can see here there's a notch but that notch is what doubles as a dynamic island on the sides it's very sleek it's really nice on the back the camera gives a good bump still don't have a protector not a cover so i am a little afraid but that's how it is the finish is really nice it's very much matte and uh, glassy i wouldn't say that it catches the fingerprints at all some of the best things that this has the camera is amazing it's uh 48 megapixel I am sure you can check out the specs online but I've tried shooting some photos and it's really nice it's probably you know that there's a little bit design on the interface also so you can see over here there's a 2x option which can do the optical zoom for you well, let me see if I am zooming in on correctly no it's doing a eco uh, like mirroring but uh, it has 2x and 1x and 0.5x so the 2x is an optical zoom which is very nice and uh, the automatic portrait detection mode is really good uh, very very snappy i'm sure that's because it's a new phone so that's some of the stuff some of the i would say a few good features which i've liked i wouldn't call this like a breakthrough or anything like that but i love the fact that it's usb c so usb c makes it a little bit more easier for me to connect and it's 128 gb on the base model which is i think a good option you can probably spend 10,000 more and get it 256 gb but what i realized is i would rather pay probably for apple cloud which would be like 100 rupees a month or 200 rupees a month and that will be for like for three years i'll be paying like 3600 or something like that which will be a lot cheaper compared to buying a larger generation obviously that's having a smaller having a larger uh, size on the phone you can record and shoot more videos but i don't intend to uh, keep videos long on phone because my primary use is to shoot videos for youtube i do have an external camera on which i'm shooting right now but uh, this kind of gives me a little bit of portability in doing what i do the battery backup has definitely improved while my previous battery was three years old but I see this doing good, uh, you know, easily lasts a day and there's juice left around. So that's more than enough. MagSafe is there. I haven't tested it out, but I intend to do that. And it wasn't much of a change. So usually uh, when I've bought gadgets in the past, like I've moved from Android to Apple, there's a couple of days transition, you know, setting things up and stuff like that. No friction at all, except banking apps. When I was done moving all my data here, which took about like 30 minutes, uh, from a 64 GB to this, it was seamless. All of my apps are there, they're all working fine. UPI was not working because it found that I have registered a new device and so were banking apps. Except that most of the apps were working, which is a good thing. Did not create a lot of friction. And uh, outside of that, nothing much to say. It's a good phone. I hope it lasts a couple of years. The previous one did for good three years i hope if, if it survives for three years uh, that would be good uh, one thing which i did different is probably the first time after my mac uh, or second time uh, i purchased apple care 
uh, just to make sure that I, if in case I break the phone, in case it falls because I have, a, I can get a newer one really quickly. And that's pretty much it. So uh, thank you for watching. If you have watched the video full, uh, I talk about tech a lot. And usually I'm talking about softwares and how to build software systems. You know, talk about cloud, AI and stuff like that. This occasionally I do gadgets video. So this is one of them. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.